Well, I come from Montreal, which is um, uh, a very interesting city um, with a flexible morality. I specialized in underworld affairs, what I call underworld affairs, which is reporting on organized crime. A contact of mine I was doing time of 13 years in uh, a federal uh, pen, uh, Drumheller, Alberta, and I just wanted to go out to see him. And uh, he said he believes there's a corrupt RCMP officer in Montreal. And somehow, out of my memory came a name Claude Savoy, and he nodded at me. Claude Savoy was former head of the Montreal Drug Squad, who'd been promoted to co-director of the RCMP's National Intelligence Division. He'd gone from having his hand in the cookie jar to being in charge of the cookie factory. So he's pretty important. We had a lot of questions, um, and the more we pushed, the more pushback we got from the RCMP. I got called in by a top RCMP official who said, could you lay off your Savoie investigation? When are you going to air? I gave him our approximate date, and he says, well, could, could you hold off? Could you wait off? And I said, look, if we're going down the wrong path, let me know. I've got better things to do than waste my time. We'll stop the story. And he wouldn't. And in the end, we were ready to go to air with a, with a story that raised troubling questions about why Claude Savoy was having such seemingly chummy relations with one of the leading gangsters. Then a development that no one saw coming. I, I, I get a call that we have to fire up the studio this is, this is less than 24 hours before we go to air. Inspector Claude Savoie committed suicide. Took out his uh, service revolver, took his jacket, wrapped it around it, blew his brains out. Oh, wow. Yesterday morning, Inspector Claude Savoy committed suicide in his office at RCMP headquarters in Ottawa. He left no note. Savoy was 49 and he had been with the Mounties for 30 years. Late yesterday, the RCMP confirmed that Inspector Savoy had been under investigation for several months. Just having to go into a studio and say I'm a man committed suicide and he killed himself. I mean, I don't care if he was a dirty cop or who he was. It, it was a story we did and I didn't want the, the responsibility that somehow what we did, the story we did, even in its rightness, was responsible for somebody killing themselves, uh, upset me terribly. It was four days before Christmas and I remember thinking that I was going to go home to spend the holidays with my two children, but his children were never going to see Claude Savoy again. And it also made me think, you know, the f fundamental rule of, of investigative journalism, there's a, um, there's a Newfoundland judge apparently who when uh, telling jurors what reasonable doubt means, he said reasonable doubt means you better be friggin sure, only he didn't use the word friggin. And that's what investigative journalism at the Fifth Estate is about. You better be damn sure you're right. 